Welcome back. George H.W. Bush kept a respectful silence during his son's administration, but the former president has vented some harsh criticism of Donald Rumsfeld and Dick, Dick Cheney in a new biography by John Meacham. Special report with Brett Baer dived right in. Meacham says George H.W. Bush believes that Cheney was pushed toward a harder line by his conservative wife and daughter. Well, I think Bush 41 suggested that perhaps uh, Liz Cheney and Lynn Cheney had had an influence on uh, Vice President Cheney. We smile about it. We laugh about it. Same with my daughter with Liz, but uh, my family was not conspiring to somehow turn me into a, uh, a tougher, more hard-nosed uh, individual. I got there all by myself. Cheney is reading Meacham's book, in which the 41st president calls the vice president iron ass. Cheney sees the comment as more compliment than criticism. I took it as a mark of pride. <laughs> <laughs> I took it as a mark of a good Pilates class. The panel is back. Catherine Timp, Will Ron, and Gavin McInnes. Uh, so, <laughs> Gavin, you took your glasses off, which made the panel 33% more intelligent. Back. <laughs> and there we go. I think uh, our culture is having in the midst of a new love affair with George H.W. Bush. That's the way it happens when they get old and when they haven't been president for a while. Yeah. Huh? I think he's like Obama. He's worried about his legacy, and his legacy extends to his kids. George W. was known as a neocon and hawkish, and that's not hip anymore. Does that drive George H.W. Bush crazy, though? Yes. So he's taking it out of George W.'s legacy, and he's putting it on Cheney and Rumsfeld and saying, those are the nutty hawks. Yeah. My boy was just trying to get along. Yeah, I mean, it's obvious that he is being defensive and protective mm -hmm. of his son, mm -hmm. and you can't blame a father for doing that. Very few people know the ins and outs of the job like that family. But are Cheney and Rumsfeld to blame for Bush 43's tarnished legacy? Uh, yeah, them and Bush and, you know, every other person who worked in that White House. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it seems like this is sort of a fake conflict. H.W. Bush didn't actually really attack Dick Cheney in any kind of way. It was like, like a little partition, a little jab. Yeah. You know. But is Iron Ass an insult? No, I don't think it from like an old waspy dude like George H.W. <laughs> Bush. Yeah. I don't think he's like really putting Dick Cheney down here. I think Dick Cheney gets it. He was a fighter pilot in World War II. I mean, that easily could have been someone's handle. Right, right. Iron ass sounds pretty cool to me. Iron ass, you do not have permission to buzz the tower. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so Kat Gavin says that he's worried about his legacy. I think that George H.W. Bush just doesn't care anymore. He's 91 years old. He's like, I'm going to say it like it is. Exactly. I judge him for not going harder. I can't right. wait to get old. I think my 80s are going to be my golden years. Yeah. You can just say whatever you want. I'm going to be angry. <laughs> I'm going to be hideously ugly and just saying all the things I've always wanted to say. And they'll be like, ah, she's old. It's kind of funny and cute. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Yeah. And then when you give everyone money on top of it, they totally love you. Yeah, that's true. That's the, that's the key. Did Lynn Cheney and Liz Cheney turn Dick Cheney into an evil Sith Lord? No, he's always been like that. In fact, there's a book written about him called uh, Fly Fishing with Darth Vader. That's been his reputation since day one. Mm. Iron ass, uh, Halliburton dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like he was this soft flower that yeah. went on. I don't know no, where but that that's, reputation uh, that's, started. But it's interesting how George H.W. Bush remembers him as Secretary of Defense yeah. being measured and softer. Yeah, because they didn't go into Baghdad, and then a few, you know, a decade later, you know, Dick Cheney's licking his chops. He wants to get back in there. He wants <laughs> to finish the job. But still, this is the guy who, like, took the Iraqi foreign minister aside before we invaded uh, the first time around. Tells him, it's like, he used, you know, uh, gas on our troops. There's going to be a great silence in the desert. Mm. This is a guy who's always been <laughs> tough and scary. Oh, yeah. Wow. A Silence in the Desert. That was the name of my second acoustic album. <laughs> and don't miss the Fox News reporting special Destiny and Power, the Private Diaries of George Herbert Walker Bush, anchored by Brit Hume. It's this Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern on the Fox News Channel. And coming up, the panel returns to weigh in on a very controversial and perhaps shocking debate. It's a hot dog, a sandwich. The results will surprise you. And first, we're going to continue our countdown to Tuesday's Republican debate on FBN. Dana Perino is on deck to tell me her do's and don'ts for the candidates. Please stay right here.